Hello there, my name is Jeffrey. Um, I'm creating this video to revisit the Eldridge knot that I made a couple years back for two reasons. Uh, first off, I wanted to do it again with a higher quality camera, of which I now have. And second, I believe I have actually solved the issue with the original tie. If you saw the first video, you noticed that when the tie was completed, I had to tuck the tail end of the tie up behind your collar. Uh, which would work, but if you moved around a whole lot during the night, it would easily fall out. It, it wasn't a true knot. And I've tinkered with it, and I think I have a solution to it. I've read several comments saying you can wrap it around the back and then come up and over and tuck it in behind the knot, right? The only trouble with that particular solution is that it throws the symmetry off of the overlaying fabric uh, significantly. It looked really bad when I did it that way. So, uh, let me show you. I have a fix for it. Okay, I wanted to actually start with the finished product first this time so we know what we're looking at. This is what we're going for. Difference is this time is I don't have any craziness over here. Well, I do, but it's a little bit more manageable. Okay, so I'm going to disassemble this bad boy. Okay, it's not all untied. Uh, so remember, we're going to actually grab the thick end here, we're actually tied them off with the narrow end to make sure that hangs down to the belt, right? I right, just kind of get in here and let's go through it. Alright, so I'm going to bunch it together, wrap this around the front, like so, and it's going to go up and through the top, and through, and then we pull it off in the opposing direction. That gives us our little triangle shape. Uh, we'll wrap it once across the front, and immediately you can see that's where we're going to build off the rest of the shape from. Okay. So now I'll pull it up and screw the back again and you know, pull it off to the side. Okay, now there's, here's where we're going to change it. At this point in the previous video, I actually had you go here, bring it around, and then start to loop it through just again and again and again like that, right? Now here's how we're going to change it. Back pedal here. Okay, so we're back to here. Going in the front, get that first triangle shape. We're going to go up through, pull it off in the opposing direction again. Alright, now this time when we go around, we're not going to go up and over. We are going to go through here. Okay, and we're actually going to make kind of a knot with that same loop we just made. So I'm going to push this through, show you as best I can what that looks like. There. And here's what you should wind up with. Okay. Now you might have to actually fight with the material a tiny bit to get the shape you're after, but I'm just showing you the steps right now. We're not after perfection. Um, at this point, you get this little flap off the end. Now bring that through the back. Make sure the material lays flat, right? We don't want to ruin our tie doing this. And we're just going to go, the, or we're going to do the same thing again. So I would go up and over. Except, again, with that flap that I just barely passed over, I'm going to take this part and I'm going to put it through. And I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit. There. Uh, pull that. Alright, and there you have it. So, in this case, we got left at this little tail end. The difference is, is it is actually knotted this time. And notice we have the consistent overlap just like we wanted. This is very easy, very manageable. Just to put under the collar and it won't move all over the place, which is what we want. And there it is. Okay. Elders not revisited. Uh, if you give a little bit of practice, you'll get it. Pass that. Same look. Now you just don't have to worry about this thing falling out. Regards.